Groudon? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Brick break. Half damage, half damage, half health, half health. Oh my days, he's got Stab Earthquake. That's a joke, isn't it? That is a joke. You know what? You can f*** off, Brock. <laughs> you can f*** right off. Oh, he misses. He misses the cross chop. Uh... <laughs> I think this is my best choice. This is honestly the best option I've got. He can actually f*** off, honestly. Cross shot misses. Break, break. F*** you! What a prick! Who gets a stab f***ing earthquake on Groudon? This is Kaizo Ironmon. It's one of the hardest Pokemon challenges out there at the moment. The game's been modded, so it's way more difficult than it should be, and on top of that, I'm only allowed to use one Pokemon. There are a bunch more specific rules, but I'll explain those when they're relevant. Or you could jump to the end of the video, and I'll give you a full breakdown of the rules there. But for now, let's get into it. Na -na -na. All right, so we're gonna have to fight a Hitmonlee. I'm not, I'm not uh, jazzed about that. Uh, we don't, don't take a Crawdon. We get. Okay. All right, okay, I'll take a scissor. I mean, the quad weakness to fire, probably gonna kill us. Um, love that special defense stat. That's gonna help us out a ton if anything has a fire move. I love it, it's great. No, no, it's, it's perfect. No fuego, no fuego. Sky uppercut, all right. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Oh, we got the poison though, we do get the poison. We take some poison damage. Sludge bomb. Big crit. Big crit now, no fuego. Hell yes. Oh, oh, we got a loafer. We got a loafer. We're getting out of the lab. Out of the lab, baby. Let's go. Here we huh? go. This is the run. Wait, what? It was a speed tie? <laughs> I was getting ready to add a counter to the out of the lab. <laughs> What did it do? What did it do? It was a speed tie. Oh man. It was a genuine speed tie. Any loafers in chat? Premature AO. Premature. Not. Poggers. <laughs> We're not taking more one. Oh, wait, that's a favorite. I can take this if I want to. Uh, Tyro, don't really want that. All right, ball number three. I literally can't take it. Um, as much as I'd love to take Sveal, I think I'm gonna take Tyrogue. Yeah. That's the guy. Base stat 210. I didn't want to fight Zapdos. We're gonna go with uh, Drill Pack. Drill Pack's pretty good. Gets Newport who beat us preseason. Oh no. <laughs> Back for more. Drill pack. Alright, speed tie. Mind reader. Alright. Sfeel. Sfeel knows it's our favorite and doesn't want to kill us. Nat, you listened. You didn't want to kill us. We're out at the lab with a small child. Killatine incoming. Nah. Sfeel's dead, man. Nat is defeated with small child. <laughs> wow. Look at the, uh... Look at the amount of moves that uh, Tyrogue learns. It literally learns no moves. Bruh. Wait, does it have Intimidate? Oh, it doesn't have Intimidate, but it's the level 8. It's the level 8. We just found the level 8 on like the first encounter of coming to this grass. I've got to take it. I don't care if it doesn't have Intimidate. It's gonna. Its ability will change anyway when it evolves. Wrap. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. This is the 1% encounter in this grass. And we found it literally first encounter. It's the mon I wanted as well. Sand Tomb. Its attacks are pretty garbage. I mean, if we if we get like a defensive Golbat, we could chip damage things and take them out. Come on, dude. Come on. Cross chop, though. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> ah! 
You fucker. Damn it, man. If it hit with cross chop, isn't that like 50% accurate? Ball number three. All right. Deal. So we're not taking Shuckle. Big rip. I would have loved a Shuckle. Uh, we're not taking him on Chan. Would have loved a hit on Chan. We're taking the Trash Mon, which is. Oh, meh. That, that's a big old special attack stat right there. If I can get a burn. The pace. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fast, man. I'm well fast. All right, let's, let's, let's have a look at our ability, just in case. Maybe I've got Blaze or something. Oops. We've got Water Absorb. <laughs> kind of useless on this dude. Uh, we'll Heat Wave. Tia Dance misses. Heat Wave. Hits. Give the burn. Give the burn. Burn, 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 burn. Damn. Tita Dance. Doesn't that just confuse? Yeah. Hit. Don't hit yourself. Heat wave hits. Burn, 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 burn. Ah! I think I have to do two heat waves to kill anyway, so I'm gonna go for fire punch instead. Still going for Tita Dance. Is confused. Hits itself in confusion. Tita Dance again. This is interesting. Fire punch hits. Burn, 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 burn. Ah! Hyper Fang, please don't kill now. Not after this long. Don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself. Yes! Yes! I'm a fire type, makes it! Yes! He did it! I mean, she did it. Do we, do we roll? No, the speed is too low. The speed is too low to roll with this, this, uh, this lady. Ah, screw it. We're gonna roll with Kingler. A Dust Tox. That ain't it. You ain't the one, bro. Snack. I'm not gonna go for Snack. I'm dead. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Oh, oh no. Okay. Now I'm dead. <laughs> well, Alyssa, I, uh, I told you I wasn't going to keep this run going. Um, cool. I should have pivoted a little bit earlier. <laughs> Uh, run 72, rat. You can only use one Pokemon, and if it faints, the run is over. You can catch other Pokemon, but if you do, you have to release your current team member. The Pokemon, their moves, abilities, and stats are all randomized, as well as the overworld items. All levels of Wild and Trainers Pokemon have been given a 50% buff. On top of that, no items except Pokeballs can be bought and healing items can only be used in battle and only berries can be given as held items. Pokemon with BST of over 600 are illegal, as are healing moves of any kind, even Pain Split. You're not allowed to battle any wild Pokemon for training, you can only gain experience from battling trainers, unless the wild Pokemon is a shiny, then you can KO it. Once you enter a cave or a dungeon, you cannot back out of it. You have to get through to the other side, battling as many trainers as you can to get as much experience as possible without letting your Pokemon faint. Once you enter a gym, all trainers must be battled, and you can't leave the gym once it's entered, similar to caves. Basically, you can ask yourself the question, will this make the game easier? And if the answer is yes, you're more than likely not allowed to do it. <laughs>